Hello all, welcome to Linux Tutorials. And in this video, I am going to explain about three new more uh, three new commands that is known as a cat command, as well as rm command, as well as a touch command. So basically, cat command will be useful in order to make a new file, or in order to read the contents of a file, or in order to append the new content to the already existing file. So I am going to explain about uh, different options that we have in the cat command, as well as the along with that, I am also going to explain about the rm command, that is uh, remove directory or remove files from a directory, uh, in order to remove or in order to delete a file from a directory you will be using the rm command and similarly if you want to de uh, delete the directory you will be going to use the rmdar command so those two commands are so i am going to explain with different options and along with that i am going to explain about uh, the uh, like uh, how to what is the main advantage of using a touch command and what is the main purpose of it so the actual purpose of using a touch command is it will just create a temporary file without any data inside the file so there is a um, like it will be useful in the normal functionality purpose but uh, i will show you how the particular command will work in this particular video so now without wasting any time let's dive into the topic So okay guys in this video what we are going to see is so we are going to explain like I am going to explain about uh, another few commands in the Linux, Linux tutorials so that is nothing but a cat command with multiple options as well as a touch command and rm command so basically cat command is used to create a new file and as well as inserting a, a new content in, inserting it content into a new file and as well as it is also used to see the content that is present in the corresponding file as well as touch file what the touch file will uh, touch command will do is it will basically create a empty file with the whatever the file name that we have provided and we all know that the rm is for uh, removing the files or directories from the current directory or whatever may be the directory that it is mentioned so i will explain you a few of the options from the rm command as well as uh, touch command and cat command as well so firstly what I want to show you is I am coming out of the loop directories and this is what the root directory is having so now what I want you to show is here we have only the file one so here uh, okay so first of all I want you to show the contents uh, present inside the file one so for that what we have is cat commands the, for that we just need to write a cat here cat space file one so if you want to if you write this command cat space file one so what are the contents that is present inside the file one you will be able to see here so unfortunately we don't have any content present inside the file one but what we can do is we can try to insert uh, content into the file one so for that what you need to do is cat space you can write single like uh, greater than symbol arrow and file one so what it will do is whatever the content that you write here it will get insert into the file one so what i am doing here is i am writing just uh, hello linux tutorials from cognitive hub i am writing these two lines so once your content uh, whatever you want to write so is completed then just click control plus d so once it is done now you want to see whether the, the content what you wrote is inserted into the file one or not so for that what you need to do is again write cat space file one so now if you see previously we don't have any data inside the cat one when you query it previously and later we inserted some data into the uh, file one and then if you write the cat file cat space file one then you could able to see the data here like hello linux tutorials from cognitive hub that is what we inserted so we have seen about how to view the content present in the file uh, file as well as we have also seen about how to insert the data into the corresponding file and what i can show you is now i want to create one more file here cat space file 2 and now i want to write some other data this is from file 2 and 
followed by while one so i want to write this now i want to give ls now we have both file one as well as file two with some content so now i want to view the file one first we have these two lines of data similarly for file two we have these two lines of data now i want to view both the files at a time file one space file two so in that case what it will do is it will print the first file one data followed by once that uh, it will come to the end of line then it will pick up the file two and it will give or like it will start printing the file two data so this is how you can print uh, multiple contents like multiple file content in a single command itself like uh, by uh, like by separating the file names with the spaces and what we can do is so we have known about uh, like we have seen about how to view the co content of a file and also we have seen about uh, how to write a content into the file but here we have a content in file 1 and file 2 now i want to create a one more file name as file 3 and i want to move content to file 3 so for that what i want to do is cat space i want to move file 1 content and file 2 content to file 3 so as we mentioned if you want to write a like uh, for copy the content into a new file you need to give greater than symbol so what this means is whatever the output that we have for file 1 and file 2 it will get copied to file 3 i am just giving enter here now previously we don't have a file uh, file name as file 3 now we have a file 3 as well if i give file 3 cat sorry cat space file 3 then i will get whatever the content that it displayed previously so now file 1 and file 2 data get copied to or get inserted to file 3 uh, file 3 yeah, file 3 file so this is all about uh, how we can like how we can uh, copy the contents from one file to another file or uh, we can also say about how to create a new file and how to get uh, inserted through the command line itself and we can also have one more command here that is greater than greater than so we have a command known as uh, like if you give just a single greater than then you can able to write the data here and it will get inserted so what i want to show is cat greater than file 3 again here i am just writing hello world control d now if i give cat space file 3 it won't append it will just remove the whatever the contents that is present in the previous file 3 it will just remove that data and it will get inserted the new one but what if i want uh, the old data as well as the new inserted newly inserted data that means with these four lines i want to get appended the hello world con hello world uh, line so for that what i want you to do is so cat write the same thing file one space file two copied by file three now write cat space file three now we have only these four lines these four lines we don't have hello world here now in order to have the hello world what you need to write is cat space greater than greater than if you write single greater than it will get inserted like override it but if you write uh, greater than greater than then it will get appended now i am writing hello world here and control d now if i give cat space file 3 now if you observe here total we have total four, five lines here the first four lines are from the previous file 3 and the last line is get appended from the command line so this is what uh, we did here similarly you can uh, just uh, instead of doing this you can also write uh, greater than greater than from the file also like uh, cat space file 1 with uh, these two lines of data and cat space file 2 with these two lines of data now what i want is i want cat file 2 get appended to cat file 1 so basically they are, uh, it will just print the what are the file 2 here but if we, we mention here greater than greater than that means 2 greater than that uh, which is nothing but uh, append uh, which is nothing but appending the data to the other the other file that is file 1 so basically what it, it means is file 2 con content will get appended to the file 1 content now if i see the file 1 and file 2 again sorry yeah cat space file 1 
So if you observe here, previously we have just uh, Hello Linux and tutorial from Cognitive Hub. Now if you observe the whatever the content that is present in the file 2 that is also gets appended to the file 1. But if you observe the cat space file 2, that content will still remain the same. So only two lines will is there. So this is all about the cat command. And now, so we have seen about in cat file, if you observe cat space file 1, these are the order that we have like hello linux tutorial from cognitive hub this is from file 2 and followed by file 1 now if i want to print the data in the reverse order then we have a command known as tac that means stack command so for that what you need to write is just tac just a reverse of cat space file 1 so if you write that so previously we have hello linux in the first line now we come to next line uh, last line and previously we have followed by the file one in the last line now it is it will come to now it came to first line similarly the order is just reversed so basically cat is for printing the content and tac is for printing the content in the reverse order so this is uh, all about the cat command so basically cat command is used to view the content content in the file in the uh, terminal as well as it is also used to insert the content new content into the file and it is also used to append the content to the file and it is also used to overwrite the uh, like existing content into the file and sometimes it is also used to copy the data of one file to another file so this is all the usages of a cat with multiple options now as i mentioned the other command that i am going to explain you is the touch command so so far i am just clearing the screen so other file is touch command here ls so we have a file 1 file 2 file 3 here now what I wanted to do, I want is, I want to create one more file with empty data. So for that uh, what I wanted you to do is, so the command is touch, touch space, I am giving it as uh, hello1. So if you give ls, so we have hello here, but the content inside the hello is empty. Yeah. Similarly, you can also create multiple temp, multiple empty files at a time using the touch command. So touch space hello2 hello3 hello4 like that so if you give ls so we have total uh, empty files of 4 here hello1 hello2 hello3 hello4 so total like uh, previously cat command is used to create some content or display the data but here the touch command is used to just create a temporary file without any data so we can use that temporary files as a like that uh, touch files or touch empty files as a temporary files for moving content from one file to another file or from source to destination so this is all about uh, touch command like uh, touch command is used to create one file one empty file or it will also use it to create multiple empty files in a single line of instance and then as i mentioned we have one more command known as rm command that is how to remove it the like file or a directory from a repo from a directory or a repository so here the rm command is nothing but so suppose here we have created four empty files here now i want to remove those files so for that what we have is rm space okay let me clear the screen clear ls so i want to remove those hello uh, for empty files so for that rm space hello one so if I give this, the file is automatically deleted. So previously we have hello one, now we don't have hello one here. So we deleted one file. Similarly, if I want to delete the two files at a time, rm space hello two, hello three, and hello four also. So it is deleted. So it deletes all the empty files. So with the rm command, we can delete single file or we can delete multiple files at a time that means in a single command itself and suppose if you want to create if you want to delete the data recursively or uh, yeah if you want to delete the data recursively then you need to use hyphen r which means a recursive that i will explain it later but uh, here i will explain you how to delete the directory also so here we have a content a content in the directory too let me check it out cd space directory to ls yeah we have a one directory over there so cd space ls 
now rm dir so for removing a file it is just a rm command but for removing a directory it is a command known as rm dir so rm dir space directory 2 so it is saying like directory 2 is not empty that means first we need to empty the directory so for that what we can do is iphone r try to use capital r that means recursively ok it is showing some invalid options so first of all basically if you are want to delete the directory we need to delete uh, delete the internal directories as well ls so rmdir directory 1 so this directory is also not empty so we need to go to the directory here again rm space star ok for directory we need to remove directory here ls so the file when you write rm space star then other than the directories it got deleted but the nested directory is not deleted so in order to delete that you need to delete rmdir space nested directory ok inside the nested directory also we have something so we need to go there so we need to remove this rm space star cd space dot dot now you need to remove that directory rmdir space nested directory ls yeah. so this is how you need to delete the directories so we have deleted the nested directory like directory as well as we have deleted the files and we have deleted multiple files in a single run and we can also if it is if we, we are having only the files inside that we can delete uh, recursive so let me tell you ls so cd space dir1 ls so we have file 2 and file 3 inside the dir1 so uh, what i am doing is i am just going out ls so i am trying to use dir hyphen r dir1 so what it means is it will basically remove the directory one contents recursively but here uh, hyphen r option is not working but normally the recursive function will basically work with uh, hyphen r which means it will delete recursively so these are all the all commands that i want you to explain in this video guys so related to remove i have explained you how to remove the single file and how to remove the multiple files in a single shot and how to remove like a directory as well and how to empty those directories and normally for recursive deletion you need to use the hyphen r option but here uh, hyphen r option is not available and i have also explained you about uh, how to remove all the files in a directory in a single shot like using the star com rm space star and also apart from the rm command i have also explained you about the touch command and what is the main usage of it and along with that i have included the cat options with the cat command as well so that is all for this video guys thank you for watching